I request you please subscribe my channel. Currently, you can see I have uploaded more video on the many video on Raspberry Pi, Arduino, then Python programming, then some uh, webinar so that uh, it can grow your career. So if you want to learn something from me, it is free, and you have to just click on this subscribe button. And all the video, it is it is very unique, and you will learn definitely many things from me. I upload a mostly video on Raspberry Pi, mostly video on IoT, then Arduino. There are different types of project I have explained, and each project having the programming part. So please subscribe my channel, please support me, and please enhance your knowledge by watching. Hello friend, in today's session we will learn how we can design and develop a Proteus simulation of a keypad based control motor on and motor off system by using Arduino. So before start this next part, I would like to tell you what you will learn from this video so i will try to cover all the circuit design explanation in this video we will design each and everything live in this video after that we will see importance of each and every line from the code and then we will see how to run this project so i request you please watch this complete video so that you will get idea about each and everything about this project okay before start the next part i would like to tell you what will be the flow of this project so you can see on the screen we have the motor then keypad, then Arduino, you know, then display, and then, then GSM model. So once the project started, then it will show the enter password on this LCD. So once any person enter the wrong password on the L from the keypad, then here it will display wrong password, and through the GSM, it will send the message to this mobile number. Unknown person tried to open your door. So this is basically door control system. Again, if any known person uh, enter the correct password let's say password is 123 then once once the password is pressed 123 then correct password display on this lcd and motor will be open and motor will be closed motor will be rotating in clockwise direction and after some time motor will be rotating in anti clockwise direction which shows the gate open and gate close direction so this is the complete idea behind this project i hope you understand the project flow now before start the next part we will see the practical demonstration of this project and then we will see the hardware connection of this project and then we will see the program explanation so i request you please watch this complete video so that you will get idea about each and everything about this project okay now we will see the practical demonstration of this project so i will start the project so you can see once i start the project the project name display on the lcd device control through keypad so this is the project name which is display on the lcd and you can see this is the gsm message screen it's open automatically now it will it is asking me enter the password now on the first time i will write the wrong password so one you can see once i press any number then star display here one two then five so this is the wrong password so three number i press so that three star display here then once i press the hash that means the password i have to give one it is completed and i have to give that password to the arduino so once i press the hash that means the password is given and password it is wrong so you can see there is no open and close direction from this gate now after some time you can see message will be sent through this gsm model so wait for some second so you can see at command start sending and sending the message unknown person try to open your door again after that if anyone wants to again type the password it is again asking enter the password now in this time we i will give the correct password okay now we will see if i give the correct password then what will be happen so i will give the correct password so press one two three now then press hash so hash means password given gate open uh, password correct receive gate is opening so wait for some second and wait for gate open and get close moment you can see gate start opening and gate start closing So this is the complete idea behind this project. I hope you understand the practical demonstration. Now we will see the hardware connection and then we will see the programming part of this project. Now before start the hardware connection explanation, it is very important you should have the Arduino Proteus library and GSM library in your laptop. So if you don't have the Arduino Proteus library and GSM library in your laptop, then please watch my this video Proteus simulation accident detection video. In that video, I have explained how to install the Arduino. Arduino and GSM library in the Proteus software and this video link you in the description also you require for the programming part you require Arduino software this Arduino software so how to install this software also that also I have explained in my this video so this video very important to watch if you don't have the software and the library in your laptop now open the Proteus software Proteus 8.9 software right click here and run as administrator. 
click on yes button then wait for some second your proof is 8.9 software will be open then go to the new project then after that you can give the project name whatever you want here and wherever you want to save your project that part you can give here then click on next button then uh, click to select this create schematic from the selected template click on next button select it do not create the pcb layout click on next button here you select the no firmware project then click on next button and click on finish now we can say blank window will be open here the first part is we have to uh, load the arduino uh, file here so go to the component mode you, you can uh, you can focus my arrow then go to the component mode at this side component mode then click on p and type here arduino so once you type arduino you can see arduino uh, library will be open we have to select the arduino you know so type arduino you know so once you type arduino you know you can select this arduino you know and click on ok and place that arduino you know here ok once you place the arduino you know we have to give some default pin here so go to the terminal mode then click on default so once you click on default pin place one by one default pin in front of each pin so you can see i am placing one by one pin in front in, in front of each pin here So okay, then here also. Here also. And here also. After that, you can select all this pin at a time. Uh, uh, right click and rotate 180 degree. Then after that, you can select again all this. Just shift to the near to the Arduino. There should be one block gap between the two pins. You should not uh, place that pin like this. You should place like this only. One block should be there gap. Then after that you can connect one by one pin like this. So one by one pin you can connect like this. So one default pin here should be one default pin. Rotate 180 degree, then connect like this. Okay. Then after that, this pin also you can connect one by one like this. Okay, up till now we have connected the all default pin to the Arduino. Now next part is we have to give the name to this pin. So click on double click on the first pin. You can double click here and give your name RX, same name. Then give your name TX. Then give your name uh, GPIO2. GPIO. GPIO2. So you can see GPIO2. I have given name to this pin. Then three number pin double click here give name GPIO3 then four number pin double click here give name GPIO4 then with the same name GPIO5 then GPIO6 then GPIO7 then GPIO8 then GPIO9 then GPIO 10 then GPIO 11 GPIO 11 then GPIO 12 then GPIO 13 ok we have completed like this here then here you can see same A0 a0 A1 A2 A3 A4 and A5 ok we have completed this one ground pin should be connected to ground so delete this and delete this VCC also 
So select ground from the terminal mode. You can see terminal mode. Then ground and ground pin should be connected to ground. Then 5 volt should be connected to 5 volt. So go to generator mode. Click on DC and take one DC supply here and connect that. So this DC supply here and connect that DC supply to the 5 volt. Double click here and give your voltage 5 volt. So in this way we complete the Arduino part. Now we will connect the LCD with the Arduino. Now we will connect the LCD with the Arduino. So how to connect the LCD with the Arduino? Again go to the component mode then click on P and type here 16 cross 2. So once you type 16 cross 2 select this select this 16 cross 2 LCD. Click on OK and place that LCD here. Then after that you can see RW pin should be connected to ground first. So go to the terminal mode then click on ground and place the ground here and connect the ground to ground then we require some default pin so go to terminal mode then click on default take one default pin right click rotate anti-clockwise place that default pin in front of RS copy that default pin right click copy to clipboard and paste in front of enable same right click paste in front of the D4 right click paste in front of D5 right click paste in front of D6 right click paste in front of D7 then connect the default pin one by one here you can see connect the default pin one by one then you require uh, the RS pin should be connected to GPIO2 so double click on this RS pin and give your name GPIO2 click on OK then enable pin should be connected to GPIO3 so double click here and give your name GPIO3 click on OK then after that D4 should be connected to GPIO4 so double click here and give your name GPIO4 click OK then double click here and give your name GPIO5 D5 should be connected to GPIO5 then D6 should be connected to GPIO6 and D7 should be connected to GPIO7 and click on OK so in this way we complete the LCD with the Arduino connection ok once we connect the LCD with Arduino now next part is we have to connect the keypad with the Arduino. So if you want to connect the keypad just go to the component mode then click on P and type here keypad. So once you type keypad you can select this phone keypad and click on OK and place that keypad here. So once you place the keypad here now one by one we, we have to connect the default pin for the each keypad pin. So go to terminal mode and then click on default pin and place one by one pin here like this. Then connect then connect all these default pin like this like this and like this then after that take another three default pin for the column so one default pin like this second like this and third like this then select all this pin right click rotate clockwise then place default pin like this here second default pin like this here and third default pin like this here then after that connect that default pin like this then we have to connect one by one pin to here so as per the program you can see column first pin 8 9 10 so so this is our column first pin should be connected to gpio 8 so double click on this pin and give your name gpio 8 so GPIO 8 then GPIO 9 you can see GPIO 9 that is connected to Arduino and then here double click here and give your GPIO 10. So one by one we have connected GPIO 8, 9, 10 to the Arduino. Now for, for the row so as per the program you can see as per the program 11, 12, 13 and A0 is the row, uh, row pin. So double click on this row first pin give here name GPIO 11 then double click here give your name GPIO 12 and then double click here give your name GPIO 13 then double click here give, uh, give your name A0 so likewise uh, we successfully connected the key, keypad LCD with the Arduino now once we connect the keypad and LCD now next part is we have to connect the DC motor so how to connect the DC motor just go to the component mode then click, click on P and type here DC motor 
so once you type dc motor select any dc simple motor and press ok here and place the dc motor like this then after that we require the driver for the dc motor to rotate that motor in clockwise and anti-clockwise direction so go to the component mode then click on p and type here l29 3d motor driver so you can see this driver we need and ok and place the driver here then after that first connect ground to ground so just go to the terminal mode then click on ground and place that ground here like this and connect that ground to ground then after that you can see vcc pin should be connected to power so just go to here and select no go to terminal mode and click on power you can see there is a power then place that power pin like this and connect that power pin one by one like this two power pin should be connected then enable pin also connected to the power so connect that pin like this then after that uh, this input pin should be connected to arduino so go to default terminal mode click on default and one by one place the two pin here like this and connect the pin like this connect the pin like this so you can see as per the program we have to connect motor first pin to a1 motor second pin to a2 so uh, double click on here and give your name a1 and double click on second pin of the motor a2 give name a2 so as per this we have connected you can see a1 a2 is pin number here so we have given a1 a2 here so as per this we completed no uh, just wait uh, this part is still pending so connect this motor pin like this to here and this motor pin output pin should be connected to is like here so our motor connection is completed with the arduino now the next part is we have to connect the gsm model so go to component mode then click on p and type here gsm then select the gsm model once you install the gsm library you will find this model click on ok and place that gsm here right click on the gsm rotate clockwise so gsm should be like this and place that here then after that uh, first part is you require terminal here so for terminal serial terminal just go to here and select this virtual terminal and place that virtual terminal here now this arduino will send the data on the gsm so that arduino tx d pin should be connected to gsm rxd pin so this is the rxd pin so arduino tsd pin should be connected to here so first go to component mode then click on default place one default pin like this connect the default pin like this double click on this default pin and give your name txd because this should be connected with the arduino now gsm txd should be connected to rxd txd pin uh, gsm txd pin should be connected to terminal rxd pin so connect that pin like this double click on terminal make sure your board rate should be 9600 click on ok then after that you have to load the hex file into arduino so double click on this load the hex file into gsm model so double click on the gsm model click on this folder and then uh, go to the uh, downloaded folder link from my google uh, go to the folder that you downloaded for, from my google drive link the google drive link given in the description so you will find this this one control device through keyboard keypad link uh, in my description of this video and in that folder you will find the gsm library and select this hex file and click on ok and click on ok here so in this way we completed the hardware part now we have to load the hex file into arduino to check now we have to load the hex file into arduino to check our soft uh, hardware is working or not so first save the connection so click on save button now once you complete the hardware part uh, you have to open the arduino code so how to open double click on this arduino software so once you double click on arduino software this software will be open just go to the file and click on open button so once you click on open button again go to my folder so the folder is this one control device through keypad you will find this folder again control device through keypad arduino code go inside that folder you will find iono file and click on open and then program will be open as it is then click on this verify button so once you verify this you will find the hex file path at the end you can see uh, here you will find the hex file path uh, so copy this path like this so this is the hex file path you can see dot hex should be there so copy this path from here go to your schematic double click on the hardware then 
go to the folder paste that path here and once you paste that part uh, remove this backslash forward slash should be backslash then this one backslash should be removed one backslash should be removed one backslash should be removed from here then again here and then again here and then again here then you can see x file path is this one click on open and click on ok then save again and just click on this run button so if our hardware is correct then you can see it start working and i will press the key keyboard button just for verification whatever hardware we design it is working or not so get opening correct password get opening so hardware is working perfectly there is no issue so in this way we completed the hardware part now we will see the program explanation of this project now we will see the importance of each and every line from the code so first line is has to include liquid crystal dot edge so basically if you want to use the lcd in your code you require this library then keypad library because we are using keypad then lcd pin is connected to 2 3 4 5 6 7 so that's pin number defined here then we have the row 4 and column 3 one variable because we are using 4 by 3 keypad that's why this variable here then whatever the pin number we connected for the row column and for the row that we have defined here 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 8 0 that is the keypad pin number then motor pin number we have defined a1 a2 so that's uh, motor pin number defined here then after that the keypad number you can see 1 2 3 4 so whatever the keypad number it is given here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so that keypad number are given here so this is basically array 2 by 2 array which having that keypad information then after that some variable is there and password you can see this is the most important part password 1 2 3 so current password is 1 2 3 if you want to change the password you can change the password uh, in between these two uh, we can say uh, in between uh, you can change the password here in between this two double quote so in between this two double quote you can change your easily password whatever you want so next we have defined one keypad variable through this we are accessing the keypad then we are using the serial baud rate 9c00 for the gsm communication so motor pin uh, work as output pin so that's pin defined here because arduino will send the signal on the motor pin that's why two motor pin should be work as output so that defined here then lcd 16 by 2 we are using the configuration we define here then uh, first we are printing device control through keypad it is a project name so that is a display through this line then next line is enter the password that is the another password another we can say the message which is display on the lcd through this line then here we are waiting for the key press so whatever the key you press that uh, key number store here variable store here we are checking whether key press or not if the key key are press then we are checking here you can see if the key value is hash or not so hash means whatever the password you are given that is completed if the hash, hash is not uh, pressed then uh, we are taking one by one key and we are adding to our final key so basically final key is nothing but one string and one string let's say starting you press as a here you can see starting you press one then after that you press two so one plus two so this is the string so one plus two ultimately it will you one two because it is string not is not not is not not a variable so one two then after that uh, in ne next iteration you will press three so one two plus three so it will give one two three as a string so one two three final number it will store inside this final key and uh, and side by side we have to print the star on the lcd so that logic i have defined here so on the second row you can see first means second row of the lcd here so if i open the lcd you can see we have the two row now first row and second row so if you if i want to print on the second row then i will use lcd set cursor i i starting i define with zero so first star will display on here then second star here then third star here fourth fifth sixth like this so that's logic i have defined here so once you press the key the i will be increased and next time star will be print on the uh, next to the first star so that's logic given here 
then let's say if the uh, if you are using one two three given the number and you press the hash so once you press the hash this else part will be executed now here you can see whatever the final key are stored here it is compared with your password is equal to password or not so final key compare with your password so if the final key is equal to password then we have to print correct password get opening on the lcd that logic is here then after that we have to turn on the motor you can see we have to turn on the motor that that means we have to send the one you can see one and zero one and zero signal on this two pin so to send the one and zero signal on this two pin this logic is used so that motor will be rotated in clockwise direction so if i want to rotate the motor in anti clockwise direction i have to send zero and one signal reverse signal so after some time i am i am sending the low and high signal reverse signal on the motor pin so that motor will be rotating in the anti clockwise direction and if i want to stop the motor i have to send the low low signal so that's logic is given here clockwise anti clockwise and stop the motor then after that if the password is not equal to final that is incorrect password then i have to uh, print wrong password on the lcd then after that this send message will be executed function will be executed and this will call this function and here you can see at command will be fire and message will be sent on this mobile number through this at command so whatever the message you have to give you can give in between this double quote and number you can change here so so this is the logic behind this code and at the end you can see lcd clear and again it will print the enter password and the i is equal to zero and uh, final key should be null because once you press the hash the next iteration will turn on and for the next iteration we require i zero and a final key should be null so that's logic given here so this is the complete idea behind this code i hope you understand the code logic now we will see how to run my ready made simulation now we will see how to run my ready made simulation so for that you should download my project folder from my google drive link so this is the project folder this folder given uh, link given in the description so you can download this folder so this folder in a zip file you have to unzip this then and then only you will find all this file then after that you require protis 8.9 software if you want to run my ready made simulation if you don't have the protis 8.9 software then also okay but for that you have to watch my complete video and you have to design and develop this uh, simulation by yourself so right click on this protis 8.9 and click on run as administrator then after that click on this open project then go to my folder so accident detection uh, this one control device through keypad and open this folder uh, project you can see proteus project and click on open so once you click on open ready made project will be available then double click on the gsm model load the x file from the folder and click on ok so x file you will find inside this folder only you can see gsm library go here and x file you will find here and click on ok now after that you can see you have to open the arduino software so double click on this arduino then go to the file click on open then open this arduino code you will find the arduino code here open this code and click on open then uh, click on this verify button then once you click on this verify button just go to the x file so you can see this is the x file I, here i found so copy this path completely so copy this path till end so copy this path go to the uh, protease double click on arduino click on a folder and paste that path and then you can remove this then forward black slash should be backslash here then single backslash single then single then single and then again single and remove the double quote from here enter sorry and then click on open file name is invalid one second uh, path, 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 uh, double slash here and then click on open click on ok and click on save button just click on this run button so once you click on run button project start working 
so this is the idea behind this complete project and video i hope you understand the complete video and complete project so if you like my content please click on like button uh, if if you like my content then please subscribe my channel please support me